soften it up. All right, guys, we are back in action. If you just got through watching the last video or you have seen the last video, then you know that uh, we've caught four so far in here. And this is that same trail where JP set snares and caught some. Now, JP, we did have a few slip arounds on the snares. So JP said- that was otters. Oh, oh, it was otters? <laughs> yeah, it was otters. It was otters. I actually have a, a picture of an otter. Uh, I'm trying to stand up myself. It's so slick right here. But anyway, we are starting off right here. JP's got us an idea of uh, putting one of these traps right here to, uh, what do you call it? We're gonna blind set down this trail. Blind set down they, the trail. If, if we got too many different sized beavers coming through, otters, we just got a lot of movement coming down through here. So we're gonna blind set, gonna keep it simple. Do a, just do a, 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 a square jaw trap down the, down the middle of the trail, gonna offset a little bit. They're already coming down here anyway. There's no incentive for them to be doing anything any different. Uh, they ain't gotta worry about snares. Not that they notice them or can see them. Yeah. Now they really ain't looking for this. They so. really ain't gonna look for that. They're gonna step on that and he's got it on a drag so it'll get tangled up over there and be waiting on me just like the one with the snare was this morning. That's, right. that's the plan anyway. That's, that's, we're, gonna, we're gonna tell them what we want to do later. Off camera, of course. <laughs> Off camera. All I'm doing is I'm just kind of beating this in and uh, I'm gonna center this up. I, you don't really want this to rock whatsoever, but something and like i said with with uh in these trail sets they just not looking for them man so right so, so all i'm gonna do is uh is i'm gonna put some leaves because they, they really are not looking for them they're, they're just yeah. not paying no attention they don't pay attention there's hey there could be a trap here today that's right there's nothing letting them know they, they're literally doing what they're gonna do uh and what i'm gonna do after i get it all set i'm gonna lay some stepping sticks even though really this is such a y'all really probably have, gonna have a hard time telling on camera but it's really, it's, it's just something that they not, they, they're gonna step over this anyway, but I wanna short stop them over my ear. So right. whenever they make that step, it's gonna be on this pan. Yes, sir. So I'll go ahead and night latch that. And it is. Ready to rock. We're in business. And it really, play. it really, you just, I guess what I'm trying to say is, a few leaves, but you ain't got to, because it's, it's in there, man. Yeah, they're it's, just coming to step on it. Looking, they, they're not looking for this. Yeah, trap. they're coming they're down not, there. They're not whatsoever. And like I said, we, we trapped a lot of the, uh, we call the silly, the dumb ones, the yeah. not so educated ones. Right. And uh, now we're just kind of getting a little more. Uh, getting a little more technical on them. Yeah. So anyway, we're also going to introduce some caster today. So, uh, and we'll explain that here in just a little bit. But as he finishes that up, like I said, that's on a drag. So when he gets caught, he'll get off the trail and won't have to in the and next beer and then we're gonna catch another one yeah and then we'll have we got another snare and that other uh beer bottle set down there that we're hoping to catch one in and then we'll be uh you know catching beavers but any which way let's move on to the next one. Oh yeah all right after 20 minutes of me trying to set the trap in the mud <laughs> i guess it's night latch dude it's night latch as far as i'm going it's, it's night <laughs> Oh man! This is the, this is the tail right here. Make sure it gets in that. Oh, uh, look! You know, now, just so you know. Yeah. Now what I've done? We definitely going for back foot catches. All right. Because we had enough. Oh, yeah, gosh. we've had. Are we filming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been, how long have we been live? Oh, uh, 34 seconds. Oh goodness. Yeah, right. we're definitely going for back foot catch now because front foots are uh, we aggravating. Got, we got too much otter activity that's missing it, missing it, and some of them setting the traps and beavers also. It looks like they're coming. From the from the day, uh the levee jumping in slapping yeah. up with the tail on the way down. So what I've done is uh you see the slide when beavers are clearly coming up and down. I've actually taken my fingers and made a bowl, which you're not gonna be able to see because I'm I'm kicking up the mud. But it's it's about it's it's got, kind of got a little bit of a, a stair step effect going on here. And I've set that trap on the bottom side. So when this beaver swims up. And his, his chest hits this, because his nose is gonna be right along with that water. As soon as his chest hits this, he's gonna drop his back feet and he's gonna start walking. Well, I've got that big Duke 850 series, <laughs> uh, 850 power, right yonder. You ready? And it's, uh, yeah, and then he's gonna go down there and we're gonna have a beaver in the morning because uh, uh, we're not playing no more. Yeah, we, uh, play time's over with. Play time's over with. <laughs> we see David, it. the caster. <laughs> <laughs> the caster, David. <laughs> All right. So when, when you're doing a mock a mock caster set, which honestly this 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 has a lot of activity, we really wouldn't have to do it. We're just making sure they're picking this 
this avenue instead of all these other thousands of hundred million places they can come up on the levee at. So when you're making a mock caster set, you get you a big old handful of whatever's on the bottom. And there's a fishing line. <laughs> I hope it ain't got a hook in it. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm turning on my uh, shot. Uh, stake it down. Stake <laughs> that way we catch it. Down. That's right. We might, maybe we want a little extra. <laughs> Anyways, you can get you the biggest old muckiest bunch of leaves, and you splatter up, splat it up there. And I like to do, actually, I like to do two or three of them. I really like that eye peel that comes with these mock casters. And I'm going to take my, my, my hand, and I'm going to run it up there. I'm going to really slick this bank up. And uh, like I said, there really, there really ain't nothing new in trapping. Uh, this is all something I've learned one way or the other from, from usually observing other trappers uh, purchasing their takes. Uh, and, and so uh, it's just it's just a part of it. I'm paying yeah. it forward to you guys, whoever's watching this. I'm that watching. A flimsy <laughs> David. <laughs> I'm watching, man. Uh, this is a flimsy stick, but I could have done better. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now what she said. is I'm gonna set I'm gonna set some on the water line right there on the water line. That's gonna put a little oil slick really low on the water. Then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna put it on these mock caster mounds and see what this beaver's got to do. If he he this is the first night he's not he's not seen uh, he hasn't seen caster. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, everything. This is a family group. They ain't got no chops out of their tails. They only know each other's casters. So when they, when they, when they get the wind of this, they're gonna say, "Hey, we got a competitor. Yeah. This this fella is not for my gang, and uh, <laughs> and we about to have problems." <laughs> so, um, so what's gonna happen is he's gonna come up here, and he's gonna slap that caster all over the place, and then he's gonna turn around and get his own his own muck off the bottom. He's gonna. He's gonna look like me yeah. when I go to the <laughs> Just... Krispy Kreme donut store. <laughs> I'm gonna come walking out here, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep as many opportunities for this beaver to keep coming. Yeah. Back and forth. So every time he comes over and slaps all his caster and smears it all over the place, he's gonna get another big wad of muck and slap it right back up there because this is his pond. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody supposed to be out here but him and his his mama and his daddy and his little cousin and everybody else. That's, that's all right. supposed. To, that's all the beaver's supposed to be out here. So that's right. That's why we did it this way. And uh, also, what it mean by this caster is we hasn't, we've only been sitting on the blind sets. Wherever blind they've been traveling, set. it's just been blind. So now we're introducing, like I said, what he thinks that somebody's done moved into his territory, and they'll get aggressive. So That's right. the previous video is just natural. They don't know nothing's going on. It's just natural. And now we we have, and we've caught a handful of beavers doing it natural. So now they kind of getting a little wise on. On what? Hey, we kind of need to avoid this this little slicked up area. Right. This is an area we ain't really had that much activity on, but but they're using. So yeah. That's that's why. And of course, I'm, I silted up the I silted up everything. Or I was gonna say, hey, David, right there, show <laughs> right there. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Well, that's not all right. Well, like I said, that's kind of where that deal is, and uh, we're gonna do a few more like that, and then uh, it's gonna be check time. Hopefully, in the morning. Be paycheck time. Paycheck. <laughs> All right, another beautiful sunrise. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Another beautiful day, anyway. We got main man, man Harlow. Cold this morning, cuz. <laughs> Still cold. But anyway, I kind of already walked around the line and seen what we had. I think we may have one right here. I'm not sure. I can't see down there, but the trap is gone. So I'll get ready, Harlow. Uh, come over here and see what we can do. Like I said, Trap's gone. I can't see through the bottom of it, but we'll see. We got one or we got a miss. Uh, like I said, we've already caught four here. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good in there. Golly. Look at that dude right there, Harlow. Oh, oh man, golly. <laughs> That's a big one there. That's that big meat right there, boys. <laughs> Woo. If I get it off. Uh-oh. Yeah, right. uh, if I can get that off. Ah, I'm about to get my extender so we'll get right back with you <laughs> let me get this out oh it's a big one 
All right, I'll come back and finish that up here shortly. God, I want to show those beaver though. <laughs> Took a little bit to get out of that trap. Look at that dude right there. Golly. It's a toad right there. Oh, man. I definitely need a pot drag right here. <laughs> no, we ain't got that far to go. But anyway, we're going to go around to the lodge. I think I got one over there, so we're going to check. But I'm going to take the pocket drag uh, just in case. And hopefully, we got a big beaver over there. Let's go check it out. So, Harlow and his group went to the orthopedic. Everybody's been asking about Harlow, but the orthopedic. Uh, you know, he got hurt in that basketball game. So, anyway, we've been off for two weeks. He finally got cleared yesterday, but we didn't think he was going to get cleared. But they said once he can start shooting, you know, good. He's got to deal with a little pain. But uh, so once he starts shooting, he can uh, get back in the game. So we're hoping he'll shoot today during gym and see how he feels and whatnot. But anyway, so everybody's been asking. You're going to be good if you don't freeze to death. <laughs> we're actually headed to the orthodontist now. So we're going to be late for school, but we're checking the beaver traps before we go to the orthodontist. So uh get his braces tightened down a little bit and uh like i said we get this last beaver check trap checked and we headed over to columbus mississippi oh, get that good smile let's walk up here and see what we got So we introduced caster last night. I caught that last beaver on a caster mound set, JP set. And then, uh, anyway, we had a set right here, just a blind set where they're just going up on the bank of the lodge. And uh, so we put one in drowning rod and I think I see one, but we need to check and see, make sure. I can't, I ain't got my good vision today. Hope I can get this rod out. This was that hard. Oh, <laughs> it was that hard one, and it just pulled right out. Uh, oh, another big beaver. Golly, another toad. Golly. Oh, oh, oh. oh, big bone and wide tail. Come on. Oh, man. I don't know if I got anything to stand on to keep me sturdy. Sturdy enough, Harlow. Yeah, get the trap undone. Oh, all right. Takes a little bit. <laughs> I ain't as good as I once was. Golly, look at that dude right there. A stud of a beaver. Oh, man. Stud of a beaver. Look big old white tail. Look at that song on. Golly. Well, we'll reset and see what we can do. Golly, it's big. <sighs> big old tail. Anyway, we're going to wrap that round right there. Turn them on their back. Round wire. And then you just slide them out. Good toes. That's, that's the pocket drag. It helps a lot. Get it out. Anyway, to the truck we go. To the truck. He asked me how much it weighs. I said, well, just pull it a little bit, see how it feels. <laughs> uh, pulling it with a good arm anyway. Uh, let's get up here. Old dad done got out of breath. Whew. Real quick. <clears throat> oh yeah. Alright. New day. We're putting a uh putting some eight stands and three thirties around the lot. So JP, you can kind of explain what we're doing and, and how legal it is and, and whatnot. <laughs> there we go. Um, in Mississippi, uh, we live in a very trap friendly, we care about the trapper state, uh, unlike some of you folks maybe from a different states. Uh, I know up north, it's a big no-no uh, to be setting uh, the lodges. Uh, down here in Mississippi, these beavers really are such a nuisance. It's kind of a free for all. So what we've done is every run coming in and out of this lodge, we've got laced, some of them are deeper uh, than, than others. Uh, we've got We've got them laced with these uh, these uh, Duke 330s <laughs> and these uh, H stands. Uh, and all we're doing is plugging them in, in each one of them. And after a little bit, we're gonna get on top of that dam and we're gonna jump up and down like Cleo Otis would. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get them run out. And yeah. we're gonna call this one a, 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 
uh, uh, finished. That's right. So, <laughs> so hopefully, so the, basically, what we're telling them, what JP's telling you, is the runs coming in and out of this lodge, how they get in and out of it. Uh, we're blocking them off with those with those body traps. So when they come in and out, hopefully they run right into it uh, full speed. Uh, right. Once we get to kind of knocking around on the lodge, and if not, they'll come out tonight, That's and uh, right. hopefully we got them blocked off and uh, they run right into it. And we can kind of finish up this job. We've caught six, uh, mainly in all of JP's <laughs> traps. <laughs> I just show up for the camera work. <laughs> Some days it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Anyway, anyway, we're back and we're gonna finish this up, and then. Uh, See if we can get one to run out. If not, maybe it's a nice tonight to finish the job. All right, guys. So, oh, man, I almost fell again. All right. It's cold and windy. I went and got some waders because JP's waders just went down, but I can see uh, the traps from here. We didn't catch anything in these runs. So hopefully we've got all the beavers out of here. Uh, I'm not going to pull them today because I'm not going to put no waders on and whatnot, but... Uh, I'm gonna give it one more night, but I think we're done. If we can get anything extra, extra, I'll put it on stories and stuff like that. But I think we're done with this part. So uh, hopefully the landowner's happy. We saved the levy. Well, we didn't save the levy, but we caused it from getting any more damage for now. So any which way, appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate you subscribing and uh, everything. And on to the next adventure. So y'all be ready. Y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless and is high. Jesus loves you.